Look at this. Yeah, I do that. When people register and log in on your WordPress website, they will see this ugly and sad page. But we can make it look like this or even like that. Better, right? And now take a look at that. This is the standard WordPress signup page, looking ugly with no sign of your brand. Now, how about we change this ugly signup page into this with an awesome step-by-step -step process? Or even like this with a beautiful video in the background. It's basically like dressing like this versus dressing like that. And bear in mind, those pages look stunning even on the mobile. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that. Hello, I'm Kay from Brainstorm Force, and I love gorgeous web design, but let's face it, it's kind of hard to find great solutions for modern WordPress login and registration pages. Sure, there are a few plugins, but they either come free and severely lack in terms of design possibilities, did I do that? Or they are too expensive for what they do, which is taking care of the login and registration pages. Because if you're going to get a premium plugin, you may as well get as much bang for your buck. Now, before you click off, I have a discount coupon for you. So make sure you watch until the end. So with that out of the way, as I was saying, if you're going to get a premium plugin, you may as well get as much bank for your buck. And that's exactly what Shareform's business plan does, because on top of the login and registration forms, it comes with outstanding features such as webhooks, multi-step forms, conditional fields, conversational forms, digital signatures, PDF generator, and much, much more. Now in this video, I'll be using the free Elementor page builder, but if you're using another page builder, it's exactly the same principle. So let's get started. So the first thing to do in WordPress admin is to go to plugins, add plugin. And then in the search field, type Shareforms. Then click on install now and activate. So here you have the onboarding screen, but I'm just gonna exit the guided setup for now. Then go back to plugins, add plugin. Click on upload plugin. And I'm going to select on my hard drive the Shareforms business plugin, which you can download once you've subscribed to Shareforms business plan. Select it and click open. Next, click on install now and activate. Next, paste your license and click activate license. And there you go. License activated successfully. Okay. So now let's create our forms. So for that, you want to go to Shareforms, new form and then select build from scratch. So we're gonna call this form login form. Next, click on the plus sign and start typing login. Then click on the login block. See, all the work's been done for you. Next, I'm just gonna click outside here, then go to style. And where you see select theme, I'm gonna change from shared forms default to custom. Then I'm gonna go to form and here you can change the primary color. So I'm going to pick this color. Next, I'm going to scroll down to button and where you see style, I'm going to select none and I'm going to change the radius to 30 pixels all around. So now we have the rounded corners here. Next, let me scroll back up, go to general and click on form confirmation. And upon success, we want to redirect because right now, if you log in, you get a success message that says, Thank you. But what we want is to redirect to a page. So in this case, I'm going to choose my dashboard page. Now, this is a page I created, but just imagine, like I mentioned before, that you're using WooCommerce or you're using Share Members, you could redirect to those plugins dashboard. All right, let me close this. And at this point, our page is pretty much done. But let me show you something quickly. If I click on Instant Form, enable Instant Form and Preview, there you go. We have a page already created and we can make it look even better. Let me toggle conversational layout and there you go. Now we can spice it up. We can add a site logo. So let me do it here and we can add a page background image. So let me select this one. And here we have the URL of this instant form page. We didn't create the page. It was automatically done. That's one of the features of Shareforms. Super slick and modern. And it's responsive by default. So let me just copy this URL. And don't forget, because we will need this URL or form address in a moment. Now, let me go back to WordPress admin. Then click on add new form. Click on build from scratch. And this time I'm going to call it sign up form. 
then click on the plus sign and here you need to type register and here is our register block so let me click outside then go to style let's change the theme to custom then click on the form sub tab and i'm going to change the main color next scroll down to button and just like before the border style should be set to none and the border radius set to 30. but the button is a bit small here so i'm going to click here on this icon and there you go next let me scroll back up let's go back to general where you see form confirmation i'm going to select redirect and i'm going to select custom url and paste the url we copied earlier from our login form next you see here user registration and that's super important otherwise the whole thing is not going to work so you need to click on add new here that's going to add a user registration mapping so let me do it and you don't need to change anything here if you have the default WordPress install. Now, the reason why this exists is that if you're using another plugin, as explained before, like a membership plugin, maybe you have different type of fields, and then you can map those fields to the fields in form. Once again, if you're just using the default WordPress, you don't need to do anything. So I'm gonna scroll down. You have a few options here, like send email automatically when a new user creates an account, and I'm gonna toggle that on. You can choose between simple email and email notification. You can also choose auto login, but I'm gonna keep that feature off because I wanna test the login feature. All right, so let me just close this. And now, just like before, I'm just going to enable instant form, enable preview, conversational forms, invert the layout, add our logo, disable the preview, and then save the form. And now, the visitors are presented with a multi-step form. Super modern, they can just type and then hit enter on their keyboard and it takes them to the next field. Super slick. Now an alternative to the beautiful instant forms, but that takes a bit more work, is to manually create login and sign up pages, then create a similar layout with a page builder, and then integrate the forms with the help of a dedicated widget. In this case, I've spiced up the design by adding animated video backgrounds and made it look stunning on any device. And if you're wondering how to do that, you'll find a link to our eye candy playlist in the description below. Okay, now for the cherry on the cake. If you prefer using instant forms, open the sign up form, copy the address of the form, then open the login form, and where you see sign up, click on the block, then change the URL with the sign up form address we just copied, and of course, don't forget to save. Next, click on instant form, but this time copy the login form address. But if instead you prefer using custom login and sign up pages, like I did in the examples with the video backgrounds, then go to pages, all pages. Then where you see login, I'm gonna hover over it. And where you see view, I'm gonna right click and copy the link. Next, go to Astra, customize. Then I'm gonna hover over here in the header, click on the edit icon. I'm gonna change the text to my account. And where you see the link, I'm going to remove everything and paste the link we just copied. Next, click on publish. And now if I access my website in the front end, I can just click on my account and it's taking me to our custom login page. Now I don't have an account yet, so let me click on sign up and let me fill in the details. Then click on register and there you go, we are redirected to the login page. And if you go to our mailbox, we see a confirmation email for the sign up. So let's log in and click on sign in. And there you go, we are logged in. How do I know? Because we can sign out from here. And by the way, if you prefer using custom pages, in this case, in WordPress admin, go to Sure Forms, Settings. And here you see login and registration. So we are going to enable both. So here I enable registration page and you need to select it in a list so here i'm going to select sign up and do the same thing for login and what we're doing here is you can tell wordpress instead of using the default pages now you're going to use those pages now as promised use this coupon to get 15 percent off the sure forms business plan you're welcome and of course if you're not subscribed are you serious come on it's just one click okay let me check oh you did it thank you